Hi, today on Nat Chats, I want to talk about selling tenanted properties and what I call the Tinder effect. One of the questions we frequently get asked by potential sellers is, am I able to sell my investment property with my tenant still in it? Well, of course, the answer is yes, you can sell your investment property with the tenant still in place. The issue we have though, is that you're going to be compromising on price. It's very unlikely that you will achieve the same price selling a property with the tenants in place that you would if it was empty and presented in selling condition for sale. See, real estate has become a bit like Tinder. If buyers don't like what they see online, they'll simply swipe and move on to another property. In the current market where the market is oversupplied, particularly with investment type stock and, and multiple and group dwelling properties like units, villas, um, townhouses and apartments, buyers have got a lot of choice. They are looking at your property in competition with a lot of others and there is no pressure on them to buy. When you're selling, you're always selling in competition, not isolation. So you're asking the buyer to make a choice between your property and another property that's on the market. With tenanted properties, it's really hard to control the presentation of the home. And that means that the photos online and the presentation at home, um, at home opens can be a little bit underwhelming compared to other properties. So essentially, when you've got buyers looking online, they're swiping and they're moving on. They're choosing not to hook up with your property. Now, the conundrum with all of that is the if you can't compete on presentation, the only place you've got to compete is on price. So you need to look like you're better value than properties that are better presented. So if you've got an investment property to sell, you really need to think hard about is it worthwhile keeping that tenant in place and continuing to get that rental income versus the hit that it might cost you in terms of your final selling price. The other issues that you've got with tenanted properties, of course, are, are possession, um, because if the property isn't going to be available for possession after settlement, that might actually discount quite a lot of uh, the buyer pool, particularly those that are looking to own or occupy something straight away. And also availability of the property for inspections, because the tenants are entitled to quiet enjoyment of the home. So if you've got a property that's tenanted that you're considering selling and you want some advice, and um, give, me, give me a call. My number is 0405812273. Very to ha happy to have a chat and if you're able to, to also go and have a look at the property as well. Have a great day.